good morning everybody i feel like i need to whisper because it's like early in the morning and um, i'm about to go exercise i'm trying not to wake anybody up it's not that early guys it's like seven <laughs> but for me that's early so um, i'm trying to get up and just go straight to exercising quickly because i i need to like get it done so i feel like i don't want to do too many distractions around the house so that i can just go do it but we're going to do a full day of eating with me today and so i wanted to take you along with me and um, I'm gonna have some eggs real quick before I go exercise. So we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna get that started. And then I'm not gonna take you exercising with me this time, maybe sometime in the future, but I'll go exercise and then later we'll come back for a morning snack and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So I think today I'm gonna do an entire day of S meal eating. And um, I think that's just kind of what I have on the agenda for today and that'll be easiest. Whenever I do the emails, it's really only if I'm doing the tuna melt for lunch because I've been really liking that lately or if I have planned a specific email for dinner not necessarily because I'm trying to get in a certain amount of emails or anything a week but just if that particular dinner looked good for me I would have picked it and that would be an email and so um, tonight's gonna be an S night dinner really the only other time I would have an email would be if I wanted to have a certain kind of fruit that needed to be like in the E setting so a lot of times that'll just be a snack but sometimes it'll be part of the whole meal as long as I watch my like carb limit and so anyway today i am making a uh, like chicken curry our favorite one the favorite curry in the crock pot um and i'm doing that because tonight is actually master chef <laughs> and ironically through this whole food eating journey and losing weight journey i have really enjoyed watching master chef it's something we enjoy watching on tv you know prior to all this but um it's been on and so i've been watching it and enjoying it and so that comes on tonight and i want to have like dinner already made and already ready so that we're not spending time cooking and everything when it comes on because we like to watch it and we don't watch like hardly any other tv like this is the only show we actually watch on actual tv and so um yeah it's kind of like our special tradition midweek you know to watch that so i need to have something in the crock pot i'm going to make that curry so we'll make that together when i get back i'm trying not to like do anything i'm just trying to go straight there and go but i do feel like i need to have some of the eggs first because um i am feeling hungry and i still am like kind of new to this whole exercising thing and i just i don't want to get so hungry while i'm there that i feel weak or sick at all i'm still coming kind of off the carnivore diet where i was feeling weak and not feeling so great and so um, i just you know i want to make sure that i'm not like starving when i go so i'm going to eat some eggs real quick we're going to go make those together and then i'm going to go get my exercising done all right you guys we are going to get started making some eggs right here so we're gonna have some eggs and some berries real quick So normally I make breakfast for myself and my girls at the same time. So this is kind of a little different this morning where um, I'm gonna have to make my eggs and my things first and then um, I'm gonna have to come home and I'm gonna have to do their things. They're not even awake yet. So I think for most of these eat with me days, I'm gonna do the easy days where I'm just at home and I'm not exercising because I'm not gonna go every single day. But um, yeah, kind of need to get one of these in today. So I'm like, okay, how do I get this done? But yeah, already like, filming has kind of put me behind my schedule so I may just do the days where we're here most of the day but for the rest of the day I should just be here and um, it's not really meant to be like a day in the life kind of vlog it's more so meant to be just what I eat so all I'm going to be here doing today is some chores some editing um, kind of hanging out here with my girls uh, we might do some filming for their channels so not a whole heck of a lot it's going to be low key in here mostly here today but but yeah mostly just what I'm going to be featuring is just the eating portion of the day. I'm also gonna be having some of my cold brew coffee and so I just put it in a little cup like this. I can bring it with me, it makes it super easy. All right, I finally have my breakfast. I've got my eggs, I've got my berries, I've got my coffee. I'm gonna eat real quick so I can get going. So my eggs are just easy. I've been doing three fried eggs every morning. Two is just not quite enough. So I've been doing the three and all they are is just fried eggs 
with um, some cracked pepper and some salt. So I just try to make it super easy in the morning with the eggs. I was doing eggs every morning on carnivore for breakfast and so I really like that actually. So I've been just kind of keeping that and I've been doing that pretty much every single day. I haven't really deviated from my eggs in the morning. All I do to cook them and fry them, I like the egg yolk like runny, you know? So um, I just, I do them mostly on one side to get completely done, flip them and do them for just a couple extra seconds to get that last bit of white off and that's it. I, I definitely have trouble flipping my eggs. Sometimes you guys have that issue. <laughs> and so uh, sometimes they're better than others. These turned out pretty good. But one of my pet peeves is when the egg whites are still like not quite cooked enough. That grosses me out so much. So I always have to check and make sure, you know, that I did that. Now here's my berries. So when you're in an S setting, and then this is S because of the egg yolk. Um, so when you're in an S setting, you can have berries. They're considered neutral, but you can only have like a, either a cup of strawberries or a half of a cup of blueberries. I think I am probably a little bit over for these on the amount of berries that I, I should be having in an S setting um, because I just, I did a little handful of blueberries and then I cut up the strawberries. But I think because I combined both of them, I'm probably a little over that fruit limit. I really don't like to measure anything at all. <laughs> and so I'm not super concerned about it as long as the weight keeps coming off in a way that I feel good about and that pleases me and I feel like it's it's humming along fast enough and it's going well, um, then I'm not, I'm just not gonna like worry about it. But if it slows down or I'm not super happy with it, that's one of the best and first things you can check is that if you're not happy with your weight loss or you feel like it's too slow is to see if you're crossing over also. So that would be considered a crossover if I'm having the egg yolks, the full egg with too many berries, you can accidentally end up crossing over there. And so even though it's okay to have the berries with the eggs, it's fine. You know, you can just end up with an unintended crossover where you're not going to lose as much weight because you had too much fuel there. And so that can happen with something as easy and obnoxious as just uh, eggs and berries for breakfast. So you really do have to like kind of watch out for that. One thing that I've noticed on this way of eating versus carnivore, term healthy mama versus carnivore is that my eating on this is so much quicker. Like I'm back to like just normal eating. Not, not like wolfing down the food where I'm not chewing or it's not healthy. You know, like I'm sitting here and I'm taking a moment and I'm chewing it and I'm enjoying it. But it's like when I was doing carnivore, I just like eating those three eggs or really it was four eggs at that time. Like I would literally be sitting there for over an hour with like breakfast, doing the bone broth, drinking the bone broth, taking some supplements, you know, doing, making the eggs and like trying to eat them. The whole process took about an hour to hour and a half. And it was, it was kind of really tedious and exhausting. Now I'm kind of back to like this normal rhythm of eating where it's not taking as long. And so I can just like eat the eggs and it's not as tedious. And so literally I'm almost done and I've been sitting here for maybe like three or four minutes, you know, and the three eggs are already gone. Cause how many bites is it really? Not that many. So that's definitely like a difference I'm noticing, which has been really helpful. My sweet little tortoise is walking outside. She wants in so bad. I just put her outside. We've spoiled her. She's a big baby and wants to come in. <laughs> All right, so I finished eating and I'm gonna go ahead and go get going to exercise and I will see you guys when I get all right, guys, I am back from exercising 20 minutes on an exercise machine and I'm back. I'm about an hour later back than I wanted to be because I left an hour later than I was supposed to. And so I was not thinking anyone would be awake, but I've got two little bears over there who are, <laughs> who have woken up and are hungry. So I'm going to put our dinner in the crock pot really fast and um, get that done and then I have to make them breakfast and do some chores and things before lunch. So let's get started. Today we're having curry in the crock pot and so I set everything out. So I've got everything here already. There's not that many ingredients. It's really easy to like put in here and do. And so here's a picture of it. And what it looks like is so, so good. Um, I make it really like kind of creamy. We. Um, Definitely put in a lot of peas, and this is an S meal because there is um, heavy cream in it, and I do use the heavy cream. I find that it uh, works well in there, but I think if you left that out, you could be maybe more in neutral territory. And so if you want this to be like an e-meal and you leave out the um, heavy cream, you can have this with like a little bit of brown rice. I, I think maybe it's like a half a cup or something. Um, I don't particularly love brown rice and I like the cream in it. So I just don't eat it with rice at all, which um, it's fine like that. I really like it, but the kids like it with some rice and sometimes I don't even care if they're gonna have it. Like I let them have it with white rice, but um, I just try not to do that. And you guys, real life, 
I plan to make this today and I totally forgot as part of my grocery shopping trip that like I don't have the coconut milk that's supposed to go in here so this gets like two cans of full fat coconut milk which is like a huge part of this thing and I don't even have them here <laughs> but this is what I want to make for today so I am um, right now I'm deciding do I run out and get it which is not what I wanted to do or maybe my husband can stop and bring it on the way home and stick it in so I'm hoping it'll cook okay I think it'll cook okay just having the chicken cook without the coconut milk in there and then adding it later and giving it like an extra hour or so might it might do okay anyway so we're gonna put everything in real quick and then start it at least and go from there all right so all we're adding is this whole bag of chicken tenderloin but we will hopefully have leftovers after this and like i want leftovers because it's really good the next day too this is one kind of leftover i actually will eat so frozen cauliflower i'll use two bags in this tomato paste i think this is more than what they call for in the recipe so this is 12 ounces and what do they have over here oh nope they have two six ounce cans so 12 ounces so there we go that is the whole thing i'm gonna have to use they are asking for salt you have to get some garam, marsala, I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Curry, I need more curry. Seasoning blend, this will save your life. These are never on my Walmart pickup orders. So like whenever um, I go into the store, I look for these because they sell out. And when I find them, like I'll literally buy a whole case. Like if I can find 10 at a time, that's awesome. And I just stick them in my freezer and save them. When we have some garlic powder and oh, I forgot we got to get out uh, red pepper flakes as well. So that's what we'll also be adding. And that's everything. That plus the coconut milk. And that makes the whole meal. Oh, oh, no, sorry, I'm lying. Um, I will put in the peas and the heavy cream later, like about 30 minutes or so before we're ready to eat it so that they don't get like too mushy and icky. And you don't want the heavy cream to like curdle in there all day and get gross. So I don't add that at the beginning, but we'll add that later on tonight. So even though I've made this recipe literally like probably 50 times or more, I do measure out the spices for like um, the two main spices, the curry and the garam masala because um, I just, you can put too much in and then it ruins it. So I want to make sure I get it right each time. And so if you put the right amount in, it's totally awesome and flavorful and delicious. So I do measure those two, but nothing else. This tortoise is back. <laughs> she's hungry but she does have food outside she can eat she just wants her dandelion greens because that's her favorite and we spoil her because we give them to her every day so she's coming to the door asking like where's my dandelion greens all right you guys so this is what it looks like minus the coconut milk cans and so I'm super lazy and I never like try to mix this up <laughs> I just put the lid on and then I'll mix it up later so it turns out perfectly fine when it looks just like this and I did it a little bit differently I put in two bags of cauliflower and it only calls for one I like that I like adding the bulk in there and I add them at the beginning even though it says do it like a half an hour before we were finding that the cauliflower does not cook and um, my kids will eat it if it's in there and it's really like mushy and I like it smushed up and mushy too so I put it in the whole day and the cauliflower is fine and that's how we end up liking it so that's where I deviate I think a little bit from the recipe and that's that's about it but otherwise that's dinner you guys it took me a few minutes and boom it is done I do make a lot of crock pot recipes especially during the school year when it gets cooler and there's a lot of like soups and chilies and different things um, yeah I just I'm a crock pot girl because I'm, I'm lazy and I don't like to cook and um, yeah my family gets tired of it they're like please no more crock pot sometimes but Oh, it's so fast and easy like that. I can get dinner made in the morning and then if our school day or whatever runs like a little bit long I'm not like feeling pressed to like get dinner done. So it's really nice that way All right, so now I have to make breakfast for everybody and I'm gonna make um, Part of what we do every morning for breakfast. I'm gonna make a fat stripping frappa um, so I'll link what book and the page number and stuff. I, I don't look it up anymore Like I've made it hundreds of times. So yeah, I'm gonna get out the ingredients. I'm gonna make that because it's been a couple hours at this point since I've eaten and so um, the girls will eat that all at the same time and I can have that. It's like neutral territory, it's like a fuel pull. So um, I can have that and then I can have what I'm having for lunch which is gonna be leftover hamburgers that my husband made uh, the other day that I didn't end up eating um, and then those with like a salad. And so I'll be in S territory for that then because I do have some cheese to put on the hamburgers. So I'm gonna make my girls 
their eggs and I'm gonna make them their berries and I'm gonna make myself and them the fat stripping frappa and we love that I love that I have it every day because you, it, it can help you if you're switching in between the different type of fuel types and you just need something to like tie you over um, I'm gonna have this now because just really because I enjoy it but then I'll also be able to um, not eat for a couple more hours like I'm gonna get some chores and stuff done before lunch and I I think I might have to run out to Walmart here and get that coconut milk so that's what I'm gonna do hi, hi. <laughs> are you ready for breakfast yeah. This little one and her horse is like, she's like, Mommy, can you make me food yet? <laughs> yeah. This is like literally everything the frappa is. I make way, way more because I'm making it for like four people than, you know, what the book says. So I, I kind of figured out my quantities, but ice, a little bit of salt. I don't measure anything. I just kind of dump. I dump like a scoop of this in. Protein powder. I always put integral collagen in. I like the brand. Um, so I put that in. Sweet blend, I like the sweet blend versus for this versus like the gentle sweet. Um, I do have glucky here. This is the glucominin. Um, it like comes from the konjac root or whatever in Africa, I guess, and like it's a it's a thickening agent, so it makes this look feel like a little bit more frothy and like shake like and everything. Because um, there's really not a whole lot of fuel source in here other than like the protein. It is pretty neutral. However, um, if you're gonna use this, like it really can get kind of clumpy in here, so you do have to like. Kind of finesse it and do do figure out what works for you do like a good job and i i it's still get clumpy i don't even i i don't pay attention to it almond milk i'll put that in i mix that with some water actually for this this is cocoa powder and uh, vanilla extract and so that's like pretty much everything i'm gonna blend this up and do this real quick because i've got some hungry people So I got my frappa all done for my snack and I'm gonna do some chores and then I'll see you guys again for lunch. All right guys, it is lunch time and I'm like starving. It's about three hours later than uh, when I had that snack so it's definitely time to eat and it's past lunch time now. So I've got lunch already. I was like in a rush to get it done because I'm so hungry. So here's what I'm having for today. I've got my salad right here. So a big green salad. I, I will probably actually eat that whole thing. And then these are actually um, two hamburger patties that my husband made for me the other day, which was really sweet of him. And um, I just was not up for eating them like I thought I was. And so they're gonna be a nice snack for me today. And I've got cheese on them and I've got some bacon. I think I might actually put some of this on them. Chipotle lime mayo, it's really, really delicious. So I love that it's avocado oil. So I'm gonna put that on. I can also have the spicy ketchup because it's unsweetened, which is really cool. So I'm gonna try the spicy one today. Mustard I can have on there. So I'm gonna put some of that on here. It's gonna be really good what I have in here. Now, if you're really good at Trim Healthy Mama and you have anything that needs to be corrected in here that you see, please do let me know. But I think I'm good with everything. I've got my lettuce, I've got red onion, I've got avocados in here, I've got a few chopped up cherry tomatoes, I have some crumbled goat cheese, I do have somewhere in here under here. Oh, there's some cucumbers. I do have like Kalamata olives down here. Um, and so I think that's about it. Actually, I forgot to put on my sunflower seeds. So I'm going to do a little sprinkling of sunflower seeds. And the kind of dressing that I have is one tablespoon of the green goddess kind of Primal Kitchens. That's the brand. And so, um, and also one tablespoon of the Greek. So I like to combine the Greek and the green goddess together, just a tablespoon of each. And it goes a long way. It, it really does coat everything good. I'll mix it up and um, it works really, really well. So yeah, not every day is like such a crazy running around as like today, but I'm like hungry and I'm like tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I got up early, I did my exercising. I cleaned for the last like three hours doing chores and normally um, it's not like that. I think it's over. No, I mean I'll put it in a second. Thank you. And so yeah, lots of days are just like, you know, sitting around and like doing editing and stuff like that or homeschooling, you know, kind of try to like vary being up and doing stuff and cleaning and getting chores done versus, you know, sitting and trying to get the editing and stuff done. But today is like moving nonstop. So thankfully though, I got out of going to Walmart. So I don't have to do that. My husband hopefully is bringing home the coconut oil for me. So not coconut oil, the coconut, the canned coconut milk. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna eat this real quick and uh, try to sit here and enjoy it for a while. It's about 2 p.m., so I'm a little past lunch and um, we were gonna like film and do some things, but I'm thinking, I don't know, 
if I even have the energy for that right now. I'm just so hungry and tired and we may kind of run out of time. So I might just be doing some editing for the rest of this afternoon before dinner in a couple of hours. And that might be my full day of eating. So we'll see. But for right now, I'm just going to have my food and enjoy it. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, guys, it's almost dinner time. I got my coconut milk, so I'm gonna be adding them. Sorry for the orange lighting. It's getting like really dark in here because we have a storm coming. And so we have one of our big like monsoon storms coming. And ironically, I'm actually in my swimsuit and I'm headed to the pool <laughs> because I, my body is so stiff and I'm so sore from like exercising this morning, which really sucks. And so I'm getting in the hot tub. So we're gonna go do that and I'm going to add the rest of this stuff. So I've been shredding up this chicken. It looks really, really good so far. I'm gonna put the coconut milk in. I'm gonna put in the heavy cream and I'm gonna put in the peas and then when we get back from the pool it will be all ready and I'll be able to show it to you real quick before I putz out for the day get my pajamas on and get all snuggled up to watch MasterChef so I have like an hour and a half until MasterChef comes on so we gotta bang this out and finish this everybody's staring at me <laughs> and this one's right behind me <laughs> we're gonna eat ready for the pool yeah all right so here's what it looks like I've never had it look like this before because I've always put in the coconut milk but um it shredded up so nice it looks really really good so let me go ahead and add everything and then we'll be ready for the pool so this is what it's looking like it's like really uh kind of like soupy and moist today so i'm excited about that it's really great so we're gonna let it cook and we'll see it right when we come back all right you guys i'm back and so here it is and this is what it looks like it looks amazing so you guys i feel like because i didn't put the coconut milk in right away which is the first time i've ever done this it like the chicken got really really like cooked faster and like falls apart and is mixed in really well with like minimal effort from me so that is super fun that's how i like it is really like soupy like this without big hunks of chicken so that's my preference i don't know i might make it like that every time but anyway i'm going to serve some up because it's 6 15 and it is dinner time so there it is this is about the serving that i will have it's it's pretty big and nice and so i will eat that and that's about it i'll have for tonight so i'll eat enough of that to feel full if i need a little bit more in like an hour or so then um you know i can ha top it off a little bit with a little bit more um but i'm not really gonna have another snack tonight like i don't have that planned i'll just be eating this and i'll probably feel full from eating this and since i've had it before you know i can kind of know that but there are different things i could have like in the evening for a little bit of a snack before bed um and so stay tuned because in some of these eating days you know we'll go over things like that but for today i think i'm pretty much done and showing you everything um that i ate today so i hope it was super helpful um if you like these kind of videos then leave a comment down below let me know if they're helpful or not and uh, give this video a thumbs up and share it if you liked it so I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye I start to sail along these ocean waves nobody knows nobody knows how to find us it's turning out to be a perfect day I just want to leave our normal lives behind us so let's get lost out here